Hello there everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Yum Tiki, Yum Tiki episode 97, 3 to go, 3 to go everyone, T minus 3 episodes. We've got a new version of the game, uh, 104E, E for excellent, well not really, I don't really know what's too new in this, uh, but I do know an incredible adventure to take you all on today. I do mean incredible, I always mean incredible, I, 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 I always aim for the highest quality adventure. Hmm, but we go to the little, the little rounds. No, there's never anything in there. Never. So, this was a little adventure I had the other night. And yeah, we're going back to the hospital. Who's excited to be back in the fucking hospital? But hey, it's been a while since we talked to this thing. Of course, I, I talked to this forgetting exactly what this would do. Take us this fucking area. So, I, I I don't know what I was thinking with this. Some of this has changed, which is which is kind of neat. We have been here because we've, we've seen this lovely fellow before, but a lot of this here has been moved around, and this actually has a visual theme to it now, which is kind of nice. So, what are you doing over there? Hiding from us? It's kind of difficult to say. He's he's an unpredictable kind of fellow. With his little USB 3 tail. Or whatever it is. And as we know, this guy likes effects. Apparently, he does not like the glasses effect, though. What about a good torch in there? Uh, no. Invisible. As you do when you've got the fairy out. So. This is this is a marked improvement. A marked. A marked improvement of what was here before. And I do kind of like these areas where you can try different effects, because so many effects in this game just feel pointless. Probably because there's so many of them, but it's nice that you can come here and play around with them. Even if all it does is just slightly change an NPC. For some reason he likes the the oriental theme of this one. He does not want to get kicked. Get kicked, mate. So it says, yeah, it's nice to have areas that actually. Hey there, spooky. Um, it's to have, you know, effects. Even if it's just like a toy. At least it's something, right? But hey, we're not here to do that. We're getting sidetracked. No, we don't want that. Blammo. Pull your escape rope back out to the Nexus. Right. Anyway. Onwards and upwards. So the fucking, again, the fucking hospital world. Who's had enough of the fucking hospital world? I have. That's for sure. Fuck this stupid ass fucking place. Ugh. Every time I get here, even just looking at it just makes me mad. The music, just everything. Ugh. All the little improvements they made to this area over the years. It still just drives me bananas. I suppose it's better than it used to be, but still not great. Hey, who's this? Who's this girl? Oh, she just took her money, isn't that nice of her? Of course, she, I didn't authorize that transaction, did I? Stealing my money, you think that's okay? I'll tell you what I think is okay. We shake hands with Yum Tuki, we take this. This, dead. Dead. Better than you deserve. Because I should have got some fucking money out of that. No doubt, permakill NPC going forever. I don't care. She didn't look that interesting. She didn't have anything to say. She just took my money. So, keeping with areas that we all love and enjoy. What about a fucking maze? Now these little things are kind of new. These eyes, but they don't do anything. I say new because I haven't been here in a fucking long ass time. I try my best not to come to things which are just mazes by design because um. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that in the butt. Who wants that shit? Not me. It's just, just awful. And having, you know, spent ages doing mazes and other fan games now as well, it's like, yeah, just, just no mazes. Could do without it. So I haven't really figured out what's new in this uh, new version of the game. Um, we're not doing anything that's, that's blisteringly new today. We are just going, going around the town, you know, checking out the local pastures, 
I'm just trying to find my bearings a bit here. It's easy to get confused when you're just running around inside a giant intestinal tract. Hell indeed. Yeah, we're not going in that thing. Not today. Pretty sure we've been in there. I can't, can't quite remember. Uh, what's that thing? More eyeball themed stuff. New theme for this game. Play 16. Look at this wiggly hole here. Go inside the wiggly hole. There's an invitation if I ever heard one. So we've, we've, we've um, briefly touched on this many moons ago. Um, we came in here, but it was under construction. And because it was under construction, there was nada to do. But now, there is things to do. And wouldn't you know it, it's another fucking maze. Holy shit, you guys. It's a fucking maze. Everyone's excited for for me going around a fucking maze. Yeah, go in these faces and you end up somewhere else. That guy kind of looks like the dad from the Power of One Girls. Not the dad, the Professor. Not Professor X, that was Action Man. Professor Green. What's this thing? Well, we can't just leave a big puffy face like that. I know what you need. Oh dear. Roll out the red carpet, why don't you? Now, of course, mercifully, this area allows you to use the bat. Wow, that, that maxed out the audio there. Nice. Um, so you can use the bat to, to get backwards and forwards. Like Batman. The Batman. I'm Batman. I'm not on Batutsuki. It takes you here, a really boring version of this stupid bit with the creepy music. We've been here loads of times, but there's nothing here other than just this mouth. Yeah, I, I don't understand it either. Fucking answers on a postcard. Just, it's just what what the kids want, right? It's a open item on the the Tuki, the official project. You Tuki, you me Tuki, you me Tuki page saying we need an area that's just it's just another area with no anything in it you just run around and have a empty space so that area to the left looks quite interesting it's a trick don't do it don't do it you want yellow yellow power yellow power and you go down here and you go left and then you come across this horrible looking face and this takes you to this kind of hub area. This hub area is quite useful because it has loads of the different little mouths and you can kind of use it for getting around different areas of the map. God knows why we'd want to spend more than that amount of time in here, but I, it's an option if you're that way inclined. Mercy on you if you are. But we're not looking for that, we're looking for this, this little hamster head here. Not anywhere else in the maze. You go through it and, uh, oh, Gross-looking head looks kind of familiar. What have you been doing, Uritsuki? What did you do with the rest of your face? You only get one of those. Your mum and dad will shout at you if you lose it. I'll go ahead and say that I love this area. Love, love, love it. Everything has a very, I don't know, kind of like a, a, a memory or some kind of slightly happiness to it. The music is like really distorted, which is cool. Everything's got this pinkish hue to it. Of course, I'm trying to find a gimmick, of course. Got this weird painting in the background. I guess it's a painting, it's kind of difficult to see. I'm not sure what it is. Not something that I recognise particularly. It could be anything though, couldn't it? Kind of like a cup. Or something with some banners behind it. Who knows? I'm sure Uritsuki's choice of house decorations are a bit spooky. So yeah, everything, even the doors here have the kind of Uritsuki motif on it. So let's have a little reconnoitre of that. It's a sleepy town outside. 
These look like little things from our adventures now that I look at them, the, the posters. Difficult to make out, I suppose they're supposed to be quite ambiguous, but... A little st a little bedroom. Who's that? I wonder. Again, she looks like someone from our adventures. Let's come We're not ready for bed yet. What have we just got here? It's gone in here. Closet. Lamp. Very comfortable. Very nice indeed. I'm just paranoid at this point that one of these things is going to be a one-way teleporter or something like Yeah, fuck that. You know that they will be. <laughs> I played this game long enough. What's on the old television? The night sky in the background. Slightly animated. There's nothing on television, obviously. Which the cast been paying a TV license. That effect looks really strange here. God, we've had bad experiences using telephones next to televisions in the past. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. So, I guess the theme of this series is perhaps supposed to be another artist visioning of um, Uritsuki's house. Not like the, the dream apartments we've got. This is perhaps supposed to be closer to maybe our childhood home or maybe our how she sees her home. Well, okay, I'm, I'm a bit too excited here. Let's, let's have a quick sit down. I'll pose this up a bit. That's lovely sofa. Okay, now it's time for the cupboard. Well. This properly unnerved me the first time I saw it. I was pretty pretty spooked, so I was kind of unsure what to make of this. You can interact with it a little bit. But the music is, well I say music, it's just noises isn't it? Really distorted. Everything's got that weird kind of wavy effect around it. It's kind of difficult to even make out what the hell we're looking at. It looks like a a girl sitting their knees up. Yeah, and if you try and move up or down when you, when you can, it uh, goes psh. You get the white noise thing. And there's the noise like a plane landing. And it just looks. We've had enough of that. Had enough of whatever that was. So that's what's in the wardrobe. It looks like everyone wants to ask you to hang up some coats, be fucking careful. You don't know what you're going to get out of it. Oh, it's animated though. The nice guy there's animated as well. I didn't notice that. Shows I have a, an eye for detail, right? Well, we've had a long day, right? We've had a long day. And our little house. So let's go to sleep. Oh, what? And then we wake up. I had to say one thing, I think that eventually perhaps paced a little bit slower. There's a certain kind of uh, so no wallpapers, you fucking ridiculous. There's a certain kind of climax to that, like it seems like an important theme or uh, moment. Not that anything comes out of it, you don't get wallpaper, you don't get an egg, you don't get anything, you just you just get to see a house that's vaguely Uruzuki themed. But maybe that's all we need, maybe I'm being too demanding of the game. And it was cool. That's a very nice little area. And um, yeah, you could sit and think about that, you go, huh, what does it mean? What does it mean? Does it mean anything? Probably not. But let's go. Nice little, nice little set piece. And it just goes to show that we haven't indeed tapped out this game yet. At least I like to think that. So here we go, 97. 97. A few more episodes, guys. Thanks for watching.